All right, so in this video, I'm going to explain how to layer your terrain for Conquest Reforged. There have been ways to do this for literal years, but for some reason, it's still not a very known thing, and a lot of people still have no clue how to do it. So I'm gonna try to change that with this video. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the first step you gotta take to get World Painter to work with Conquest layers is you're gonna just, you gotta find a file. So there's a file you wanna search for, um, you see I just got my normal desktop here, gotta go down to the search function, the search bar down here, you're gonna type in world painter, world painter dot vm options. Should be a file right here, and then you're just gonna click on the file location and it should take you to the file. Alright, so you see here, we got a bunch of files here, right, these are the world painter files. Um, and you're just going to want to click the world painter. You're going to want to right click the world painter.vm options file and you're going to want to edit it with Notepad or any other, uh, any other editor, editor software. Next step you're going to want to do is you're going to go into the description down below and you're going to copy the line that I have pasted there. It's going to be dorg dash something something. And you're going to paste it in. You're going to make a new line here by pressing enter and then you're going to paste it in there. Dorg dot pepsoft.worldpainter.smoothgroundcover true. That's all you want to do. That's all you need to get smooth layering. Now we're just going to, want to click on file, save, save failed. You can you can launch the Notepad++ administrator mode. It's going to want to edit some shit on your computer. Just press yes. And now it should be saved. To double check it, just close it. You can open it again. And now it should be should be right there. See, door of Pepsoft, ground cover, blah, 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 true. Boom, done. That's all we need to do to edit the, edit, the, edit the World Painter files. Now we can go into World Painter and actually start doing the real layering of the terrain. All right, so I just hopped into World Painter, made a new world. Um, I whipped together some quick terrain. This took like less than a minute. Uh, it's really just some brushes thrown into one another. I don't know, it doesn't really look that great. Uh, yeah, just so you can see a couple steep areas, a flat area, just to demonstrate the layers and what they'll look like in the end. Go to the side here where it says layers. Under the layer tab, you're gonna click the little plus icon at the very bottom and add a custom ground cover layer. If you paste it in the line from the description correctly, this is what the pop-up should look like. You're gonna wanna click the little plus icon at the top this will add a custom material. Here you can either make a complex material or a simple one. Simple means it's only one, one block type. Complex would mean you can make a mix of different ones. For example, I don't know, if you wanna have a dirt mix or, or a stone mix or whatever, we're gonna to stick to simple for now. You wanna have conquest layers, so you're gonna click custom. Then the first box you're gonna write conquest. And the second box is gonna be the ID of whatever block you want the layers to be. So. For example, most common or the one you're probably going to use the most is grass, block, layer. Uh, there has to be a dash in between each one of the words, so a, uh, a low dash. Then you're going to want to click the little block icon here on the side, add a custom property. This time we're going to add layers as the property. Make sure you don't forget the S, it's not layer, it's layers. Click OK. How many layers are there in a block? Eight, we all know this. Okay, we can type an eight and done. That's all we're gonna have to type to get layers to work in Conquest. We're just gonna click okay. Now make sure that you also click this little box where it says smooth, because otherwise the layers won't be smooth. Give your cover a name, grass, layer. Pick a color if you want. I don't know, let's take a nice green. Boom, that's all we need. We don't have to change anything else here. We don't have to change the thickness. We don't have to change the pattern, nothing. We're just gonna click OK, and a new tab should pop up on the side that says Custom Layers. And look at that, we have our grass layer. Now, just to go through this again, we're gonna do the same thing. Click on the little plus, add a custom ground cover layer. Click the little block icon up here. Custom Conquest, it's always Conquest because that's part of the block ID. This time we're gonna add, um, let's try a different layer type, let's try stone. Limestone Slab. This time we're gonna type slab, not layer, because that's what the block ID. It's still gonna be layers, but the block ID is called slab. So we're just gonna do that. Add a custom property, layers, okay. How many layers are there? Eight, boom, we know this. If you wanna have waterlogged layers, you can add another custom property. Type waterlogged, okay, and then true. T-R-U-E, done. 
press OK. Now this would be waterlogged, but we do not want this. OK, how many layers? Eight. Boom. OK, done. That is all we need. We don't need waterlog. We just need the layers thing. Click smooth. Let's give it, uh, let's rename it to stone. Give it a color, give it a gray to show that it's stone and press okay. Boom, that's all we need to do. Now, to get on the terrain, you can either just tightly like color it in with a brush because it works the same way. So I can do like that, boom, and just paint it in like that. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do fill with layer. So first on global operations, that's this little circle up here in the corner. Then this pop-up should come. Fill with layer, click, select grass layer. Uh, let's do only on terrain, bare grass, go. Boom, now it already covers all the grass. Now we're gonna do the same thing with stone, fill with layer, stone, only on, terrain, stone. Boom, go. Nice, and now we already have all our layers set. So for this demonstration, I'm now gonna export and show you what it looks like in game. All right, so now we're in game, just loading up the world for the first time, and as you can see, we have layers, not only on the grass, so we have the grass layers for one, but we also have the stone layers. See, although it said slabs, that's only the block ID. So the block ID is conquest limestone slab, but they work the same as layers. Here it's grass block layers. To check what the different block IDs for the different blocks are, you can turn on extended tooltips. To turn on extended tooltips, hold down F3 and H. This way you can turn them on and off. And now if you hover above a block, you can see what the ID of this block is. So for example, <laughs> I don't know why you would want to use this in, in terrain, but tan limestone brick slab would be conquest colon tan underscore limestone underscore brick underscore slab. This works for every single one. Anyways, if you look around at the shitty terrain I made, you can see the layers worked. And honestly, it doesn't even look that bad, to be fair. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Hey, yo, low-key, dude. This ain't even that. I mean, yeah, I'm, I mean, to be fair. It did take me, like, fucking two minutes to make at most. But, like, this for two minutes, bro, this ain't bad, dog. I mean, there's a couple spots. This ridge here is kind of shit, but you could build something on this. I wouldn't, but you could, <laughs> but yeah. All right, so we're back in World Painter. Now I'm gonna show you guys the other way that you can make layer terrain, which is a lot more primal and brute force, I suppose. So basically, now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna play around with these custom layers at all. All what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this entire map in snow layers, simple snow layers. They're layered automatically. Click on the global operations, Fill with a layer, it's already selected to frost. That's the one you're gonna wanna have. Frost layer, don't have to change anything here, just press go, boom. Now a frost layer covers this entire map, yeah? That is all we need, is, is a frost layer and whatever block you have underneath the frost layer, because that's gonna become important later when you wanna change this into the, the layers that we need in game. So frost layer, and now we're just gonna export it. All right, so. Now we are in game once more. You can see we're on the same terrain as before. And look at that, we have layers. So now this isn't the only step we have to take though to get it the way we want it to be. Cause right now all we have is the default Minecraft snow layers, but they are layered. So it's not, it's not blocky. It's a lot more smooth than it was before. Now comes the tedious part of this process. And the tedious part is you're gonna need world edit for this part now, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select position one. Now we're gonna select, let's say up here, position two. Now we have this big chunk of blocks selected, right? So what do we know? We know what block is underneath this. We know there's, okay, I guess some of the, some of the grass blocks are starting to turn to dirt because they're not getting sunlight, but there's grass and there's dirt underneath here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do double slash G mask above grass block and dirt done boom a global mask has now been set what this means is now anything we type this mask 
is already on any any new commands we run so now we're gonna do replace snow because that's what the block is called these are snow layers so just type snow with conquest grass block layer oops layer so if we did ran this command now it would only do the first the bottom layer right and it would look kind of shit let's just run it to demonstrate yeah so as you can see this has now ruined all our nice layers right because we forgot one thing and this is something a lot of people don't know about right i'm just going to undo this real quick what we need to do is we need to add another little symbol here right in front of the conquest if we press tab a couple times there's this little arrow here pointing upwards that's what we need so basically what this arrow does is it means every single variant of the block we're trying to replace so every single variant and height of these layers will be replaced with the same variant of grass block layers let's run that command and oh look at that much nicer now it's all nice and layered we can do the same thing with the stone layers except now we did, we have to change the G mask so we're gonna remove this we're gonna just delete all that and we're gonna do above stone G-mask above stone, replace snow with conquest, limestone, slab. Because that's what the block ID is called. Enter. And boom, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is technically how we can do the entire map. Alright, so now I've showed you two ways to make nice layered terrain, right? So you may be thinking, okay, now how do I decide which, which technique suits me best, right? So I'm going to go through the pros and cons of both both ways that we just discussed. So, first the first way, right? So the way where you basically use the custom ground cover layer in World Painter. The pros of that is it's quite easy to do, it doesn't take a lot of time, doesn't take a lot of effort, and it looks good, right? The one con that I have with this, this way of doing things is that it doesn't do one layer of snow or grass or whatever, but it actually puts two layers on top of each other. And what this means is that if you do not have a semi-strong computer, but I don't know, you play on a potato or whatever, it may cause a bit more lag than one layer would. The pro about the other technique that we use, so basically just covering the entire terrain with one layer of snow, is that it is, like I said, just one layer, which means minimal lag, and it also looks good. The con of this is that you can't really do it on really, really large pieces of terrain. I'd say the largest you can really go with just the snow layer or the frost layer is about 3K by 3K, which to be fair is quite large, but any larger than that, it just takes way too much time for the amount of terrain that you're doing. One more thing that one has to think about when choosing which technique suits your terrain best is whether or not you're using schematics in your terrain and how these different layers affect the schematic usage. Generally, the snow layers work quite well with schematics. The issue with the snow layers is that the snow will also spawn on top of your schematics. So this means if you have a forest, there's going to be a snow layer not only on the ground, but also on the tree canopy. This can suck, so generally I'd say use the other technique for doing terrain. It generally works a lot better, and it also works a lot better with schematics. If you're wondering about this beautiful map I'm in right here, and look at that, what a nice mountain peak I have here in the background, right? I explained how to make nice shaped terrain in the previous video, so go check that out if you're interested. That concludes this video. I hope this helped at least a few of you, and if there were any issues with any of the things I showed, there's a video on my channel called Troubleshooting. Check that out. It goes into detail of some of the most common issues faced when it comes to making layered terrain and conquest. Other than that, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.